Hi, it's Nancy at Needlefish Yarns. I hope you're doing well during the summer when it's been raining and hot and wet and dry. So wherever you are, sit down and knit or crochet. It'll make you feel better. Here in Venice, it's uh, 1,050 degrees. So I'm knitting. Right now, I'm knitting about four different things. And I'm only going to show you one I've been working on um, in a few minutes. Um, but let me just show you what else is going on at Needlefish Yarns. Today I'm wearing Shelly's Summer Top. And this is made out of Comfy Cotton by Emma. It's a 50-50 blend of wool and cotton. Hi, Norma. And it's really comfortable. All this is are two rectangles and you just sew up the seams. Feather and fan couldn't be easier. We've seen it in lots of different colors and it's been fabulous. You could also do something like modern cotton if you wanted a full cotton. Or you could do um, one of the DKs in wool. So you've got some options. So what's coming up? This Friday and Saturday, the 16th and 17th, is our semi-annual clearance sale. So you're gonna get some great bargains. If you can come in, you can also sign up for a gift basket. If you wanna order online, we can sign you up too. The gift basket is through Venice Main Street and there just might be something from Needlefish Yarns in there. So you wanna take advantage of that as well. What else is going on? Well, Casapinka is coming up with a mystery knit along in August and we've got kits now to pre-order and sell. Oh, you should see the colors. They are all in tropical colors. Some of them are um, muted colors. I've got them on my website. I'm going to do a, um, an email today with a link to it, but just go to Needlefish Yarns and look up Casapinka Snarkometer. If you know anything about Casapinka, I'm not surprised at the title. It'll be fun and the colors are gorgeous. What else do we have? If you wanna do something else that's a little bit more simple, you can always do, and we've advertised this one. This is a great little quick knit. It's called Painted Pebbles. It's two skeins, one slub and one fingering weight by Big Sky Yarn. It's called Painted Pebbles. We have kits, so take a look at that. We also have another fun um, kit. This is by Lisa Ross. Look at this. One of my test knitters did this for me, and she did a great job. Isn't this gorgeous? It's called Ice Cream Social. It fits just beautifully. You can wrap and wrap and wrap it all around you. And this is the Florida colorway we did. There are seven or eight colors I've got posted. It's called Ice Cream Social. Fun knit, it's not hard. It's, it's two full skeins of Practically Perfect Sock with the mini skeins with it. We love it. Okay, and then also one other thing. Um, I had Lane's 52 Weeks of Shawls. It comes from Finland. It comes way across the pond. Right now, I think it's flying over Greenland. Should be here anytime. I only bought five more, and I know two have already been taken, but you might want to take advantage of this beautiful book. It's 52 beautifully done shawls. It makes a great coffee table um, book as well. Now, I was going to tell you something I'm working on. I posted a couple of pictures of this. It's called Letho, L-E-T-H-O, and it says, if you want to try some different skills, this one's for you. It's not super easy. It's not super hard. Look at this. This is the sleeve, and then you add the stitches to go down. This is a double provisional cast on you. A what? Yes. Hi, Marilee. This is brioche, and these are welts, and not the kind you get when a wasp stings you. These are actually pretty easy, and you can find a lot on YouTube how to do. The brioche done in the round, not as hard as you think it is. I probably tore it out, though, 20 times until I got the rhythm and the stitches correct. And then this is just a two rows of slip stitches. So um, I'll keep going, and I'll keep posting pictures. I hope you guys are knitting or crocheting and having some fun this summer. I know it's been a long time since we've even been out. I got the chance to fly to Michigan and surprise my sister, who graduated from college, at the age of 54 and I had the best time I missed Michigan and it was really nice just to get away so if you have a chance take your knitting or crocheting and take some time off to see some people my son's coming down at the end of this month and I haven't seen him in two years so I get that urge to travel I hope you're all doing well and I hope to see you soon and I wish I'd stop sweating talk to you later hi Michelle